I would say like you are the spark of it. So uh, Pedro was my TA for uh, one of the classes at Purdue. It was one of those like the first classes they had to take. It's like discrete math. And he's my TA for that. And I go to office hours and get my help, you know, on the homework and stuff. And then there was there was like maybe like one or two times where like I say after I asked Pedro, okay, what did you research? And then he researches programming language, right? And then, I don't know, I asked lots of questions, and I really liked how passionate he was about it. Yeah, and then I was like, well, the thing is, when he told me that he did programming languages, like, I had no idea what that really was, right? So I thought, okay, it's programming languages, is it, like, more linguistics? Like, like what is it about, like, really study? But then he... He, I don't know, went into more depth about the origins of it with with Turing, with uh, mention of lambda cal calculus. And I was like, this is not what I expected at all. So that's kind of what sparked the interest in it. It was like, I just had no idea about this field. And it's like, so, it's so broad. And I liked how it's a little bit meta too. Yeah, so I think the first thing that I learned really well was that okay so when i was helping patrick with his stuff you know i had to uh, go into ocaml's property based testing like framework q check a bunch of times and i had to like you know like really read the source code to figure out what was going on so i feel like reading code is like a skill that's that kind of has to be like learned in practice yeah um, and then i know i feel like nowadays people might not you might not need to know as much because people can just add chat. Yeah. That can help a lot. Yeah. Especially in big projects, like have no idea even where to get started. Like, hey, like where do I find something, this code, huge code base that I don't know, does this a very little thing. And you could be like, go to file that file, line that file. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like when I was like uh, doing my compiler course, I could do that with LLVM, but I, I can't do that with, you know, QCheck because it's, much smaller so i can't get anything from it so i would have to actually like go into the, the source code and then and then read so i think that was like a good skill that i learned 